يسلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما صلاة الصلاة يا سيدي يا رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه يا سيدي يا حبيب الله صلاة الصلاة عليك يا سيدي يا رحمة للعالمين وعلى آله وصحبه يا سيدي
Many Mahavir Bani opened his eyes in India in 971, according to Islamic calendar, and 1543, according to Western calendar. India was a state and country of so many nations, so many religions, a lot of sects, a lot of groups of people, no, not less than hundred communities. There was a reign of Jalaluddin Akbar who was a very powerful king. His empire consists of 52 years. He ruled over India for more than half century. This period is considered in some aspects very glorious one. The Mother Rabani had to face two Mughal empires during his age, Jalaluddin Akbar and Jahangir. The problems of that period were also very destructive and devastating and pathetic. Because Muslims were not in danger, but Islam was in danger. All the efforts of the non-Muslims of the materialized and polluted minded religious scholars and crude mystics. They had been make, making strenuous efforts to abolish the legal spirit of Islam. Humanity. People were also corrupt characters. They had lost the real spirit of Islam. It was very dangerous and painful, very destructive for the Islamic values. And when we observe this current era, we also come to know so many troubles problems, issues, chronic issues. The list can be very long, but briefly speaking, the most glaring chronic issues, one of them is terrorism. Second is ignorance from Islamic values, from Islam, poverty, that is another issue, stability of government and religious tolerance, that is also another problem. <laughs> then clash of civilizations, this is also one of the greatest problems of the current era. Then mad race for materialism and materialistic approach. And so many other issues. If very sincerely and honestly we want to play our role for the eradication, for abolishment, for destruction of all these non Islamic and anti Islamic problems and troubles of the time, we have to go back to the teachings of Imam Rabbani. The strategy which Imam Rabbani adopted to fight against all forces of evils and sins. The way Imam Rabbani adopted to achieve his target for the establishment of Islam, for the glory of Islam, to revive the real dignity of Islam and popularize and to reinforce all the teachings of Quran and Sunnah. 
we can get, get a lot of help. And we can also play a very vital and positive and effective role for the present time. Imam Rabbani, his name, his personality, his character, his achievements, his teachings, they are acknowledged, they are recognized by all the sects of the Muslims. Imam Rabbani is regarded as a compromised and settled spiritual and religious leader of all the sects of the Muslims. He is regarded as the reviver of Islam for second millennium, Muchantad al -Fsani. His knowledge was comprehensive. His understanding was very subtle. His lifestyle was totally according to the teachings of Quran and Sunnah. He was an embodiment of real friend of Allah. The real follower of Muhammad peace be upon him. How we can get complete guidance, knowledge and understanding from his achievements, from his teachings? Imam Rabani he wrote five important books. The name of first book is Risala Spatul Buba, the book for affirmation of prophethood. In this book, Imam Rabani, he clarified that no Muslim can be successful in life unless he develops very strong attachment and emotional attachment and passionate love and complete submission and obedience of Muhammad peace be upon Prophet Food of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is the only way to salvation. Because there were doubts, there were suspicions and misunderstandings about Prophet Muhammad. Some people were saying that the period of Muhammad's prophethood has finished. Now there is need of new religion. That's why Sharif Amli, Mullah Mubarak Nagauri, Qazi Gurula Shostri, Abul Fazal al Fazi, they instigated Jalaluddin Akbar and they also conspired with Jalaluddin Akbar and they guided and advised him to create a new religion. Only Jalaluddin Akbar he wanted to become a unanimous leader of all the communities and nations of India. So he was easily trapped. He wanted to strengthen his government. Imam Rabani, he met with Abu Fazal al Fazi. He stayed in the court of Jalaluddin Akbar for some time. He observed what was wrong at the bottom. Who is the culprit? Who is the responsible for all this disorder? For all these non and anti Islamic policies and laws, Muslims were rejected and condemned. Mosques were demolished. Temples were reconstructed and constructed. All the Hindu customs and conventions were patronized by the government. Jalaluddin Akbar also made marriages with Hindu women. Practically he was leading Hindu life. And he told Imam Rabani, his book, Risala Sabatul Nabuwa, is the first great slogan against the 
conspiracies of Qadiyaniyat. Because Imam Al-Bani clarified in this book, Muhammad is the last prophet of Allah. And no other reformer or no other prophet, no other new messenger is required. The life of Muhammad is complete. The teachings of Muhammad are the last and end. There is no need of any new religion, any new messenger or ambassador or prophet of Allah. This book was very successful. Imam Rabbani, he popularized the love and fashion of Muhammad, peace be upon him, the need of prophethood of Muhammad. And he clarified all the confusions and all the doubts about prophethood of Muhammad in this book, Risana Asbad al Second book was Risana Adir a book for the condemnation of Sahabi school of thought, Shia school of thought. Imam al observed that what was the wrong with the government, with Akbar, with Jahangir? Because Jahangir had also got married with Lu Jaha. And he was enslaved by her beauty, knowledge, and understanding. And she paved the way for her brother Asaf Jah as the Prime Minister of subcontinent of India and his father as a great noble of the royal court. <coughs> Nur Jahan also brought so many religious scholars from Iran and they started to popularize Safavi type of Shia type of thoughts all over the India. Imam Rabani wrote the book for the condemnation of Safavi thoughts and theories and ideologies. And he rejected all the theories of Shias of Safavi school of thought with strong arguments. In this book, Imam Rabani told, unfortunately, just for imagine if we think that all the companions of Muhammad, peace be upon him, had gone astray from the right path, they had not deviated from the path of Muhammad. The whole religion will be collapsed because the Holy Quran was accumulated, was compiled, was published, was popularized by the companions of Muhammad, peace be upon by the friends of Muhammad, peace be upon All the companions are involved in this movement. Then a great treasure of the saints of the Holy Prophet have also been compiled and accumulated and collected by the companions of Muhammad, peace If those people are doubtful, their character is doubtful, then the whole Islam will become doubtful. A question mark. Furthermore, he threw light upon the disputes between some of the companions of Muhammad peace be upon. Imam Rabbani Razila Ta'ala who he clarified that unfortunately if we think that the Holy Prophet had made a will for the kingship, for the leadership of Hazrat Ali after his departure or before his departure, we cannot think that Hazrat Siddiqui Akbar and all other boys carriers 
can snatch, can snatch the right of Hazrat Ali. Hazrat Ali can never be deprived of the right if Holy Prophet had said any word. The Holy Prophet Muhammad peace be upon even in his life, he sent Hazrat Abu Bakr Sadiq as Amirul Hajj. And all the companions of Holy Prophet, they performed their Hajj under the kind leadership of Hazrat Sadiq. Hazrat Sadiq was presenting Masala and Bhagavad, the place of Muhammad's prayer. And the Holy Prophet also offered some of his prayers under the leadership of Hazrat Ali. Hazrat Abu Bakr Siddiq 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 Hazrat Abu Bakr Give up his right. He must have fought. That's why it is a great blame, great charge upon Hazrat Ali, Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and all wise caliphs of Islam. So we have to accept this reality that all the companions of Muhammad, they were very faithful, they were very loyal, they were very obedient, they were the real friends of Allah and Muhammad peace be upon him. And they followed all the minute orders and commandments and teachings of Quran and Sunnah from the core of their hearts. They can never, never go astray from the right direction. Any go? When you read this book, you will come to know all the strong arguments of Muhammad Jesu. All the strong arguments in favor of all the companions of Holy Prophet and what is right and what is wrong in the light of Quran and Sunnah. Third book Imam Rabani wrote that was Prasada Tehdiriya. A book to highlight the real sense of Karma Tejiba, sacred statement, holy statement. Imam al Bani told that La ilaha in the Gabhum of Rasulullah, this is the Karma Tejiba. It must be spread all over the world. This is the only way to salvation. It is the only way to success. It is only means to enter paradise. Man qala la ilaha illa ta bukhre san fi qalbihi dahal al jannah. Imam Rabani highlighted all the great blessings and endless bliss of this Karma Tejiba in this small book. So comprehensive this book, so squadistically, dynamically, and so penetratively that each and every point of Karma Triva has been highlighted and we can get complete guidance not only outer blessings but inner blessings of Karma Triva. And he also told that the Holy Prophet said, Absolute Zikr Allah in the law, Muhammad Rasulullah. Asunu wa sahabitun wa faru wa fissama. Another book Imam Rabali wrote, that is Mabada Mawad. Mabada Mawad, it is a spiritual biography, spiritual journey of Imam Rabali. Because that was the age of mysticism, Hindu movements are bhakti movement. Gauraksha movement, Shuddhi movement, <coughs> and Arya Samaj movement, and so many Hindu movements have been started 
fully establish Hinduism in the India in the subcontinent. Imam al-Bani he wrote Mabda Maal in which he very minutely and in complete details clarified the way the path for approach to Almighty Allah. Spiritual path, spiritual way in which Imam al-Rabani told that mysticism, the system of sainthood is a reality, is confirmed, is need of every Muslim. And he explained and interpreted all the details of this journey. He told that when we say that every Muslim should speak a truth, it means it is an action. From our mouth, from our body, we should follow the right path. We should not tell a lie, we should speak the truth. But when we say that we should not, we should speak the truth, it means our heart and our inner self, our soul should also be purified. Our way should not be hypocrite, critical. We should not become hypocrite. Whatever we say, we should say from our heart. When we perform our prayer, he says, the Holy Prophet said, Sallu Kamara Yudha Munyu It means, physically we should perform this worship of Almighty Allah, but our heart and soul and our inner self should also be very much submissive to Almighty Allah. Antabud Rabba Ka Kanna Ka Tara You should bow before your Lord. You should worship your Lord as you are face to face with Almighty Allah. If you cannot reach that, that status of your worship, you must be assured that He is in peace with you. He is watching over you. So Imam al says, without mysticism, without getting the knowledge of ikhlas, sincerity, he told in this book that there are True parts of religion. Ilam, Amal and Ikhlas, knowledge, action, means practices and sincerity. And Imam al told that knowledge and method of practical actions can be achieved from religious scholars. But the trigger and wealth of Sincerity, purification of heart and soul can only be achieved in the company of the saints. In Magda Mawad, Imam al-Rabbani clarified all the doubts which were scattering and spreading all over the history about mysticism. So it was a very clear Hmm. Biography of Imam al-Rabani's spiritual journey to Almighty Allah. Then Imam al-Rabani wrote a book, Umda Tul Muqamat. Umda Tul Muqamat, it was translation, explanation and interpretation of some very holy and sacred verses of Khaja Muhammad Bhakti Bidan. The spiritual guide of Imam al-Rabani. He disclosed the recognition of Allah. He disclosed in his verses a very sacred and holy path to Almighty Allah, but they were misunderstood. Those verses were misinterpreted. That's why Imam al Bani he gave complete version. He gave complete explanation and interpretation of those verses and then he sent to his spiritual guide Khaja Bhakti Gita. And they were accepted, recognized and Khaja Bhakti Gita was very happy and much pleased 
with this holy effort and struggle of Imam Rabbani. Imam Rabbani Majjad al-Rabbani he also wrote other books which had not come into publication on some but not in the knowledge of scholars but they have been given some mentions in some of his letters. The great spiritual and religious prayer of knowledge, recognition and all the great achievements for a Muslim, these are the three volumes of Imam Rabbani's epistles. <coughs> He wrote 536 epistles, 536 letters, which are called Maktubati Imam Rabbani. All of his letters, they are accumulated in three volumes. First volume is Darul Marfat, House of Recognition. It comprises 313 epistles. Epistle means letters. It was combined by Moram Yad Muhammad Dadashi. Even before Imam Rabani was sent to prison of Gwar Yad, this volume was completed, published, and popularized all over India. Second volume, it was given the name of Nurul Khraik. Nurul Khraik, light of the generations and creations. This volume comprises 99 epistles and it was compiled by Khaja Abdul Hai a very sincere and true friend of Imam Rabbani and his companion and follower and disciple. Third volume, it comprises 124 letters and it was compiled by Mir Muhammad Noman and Khaja Muhammad Hashim Kashmir. These were also faithful friends and disciples and authorized Khalifa of Imam Rabbani. So these are 536 letters. These letters are considered prayer of knowledge, prayer of understanding, prayer of recognition. If we read, if we study the books and these letters, there is a need of long discussions, but very briefly speaking, Imam Rabani, in these letters, <coughs> first of all, I must tell you that this letter is, these letters are <coughs> great credit of Persian language and literature because these were written in Persian language. Imam Rabani adopted very realistic, very pathetic, very disciplined and very fatherly-like style in these letters. He wrote these letters to 193 addresses. Some of them were the nobles of the royal court, some of them were scholars, religious scholars, literary people, <laughs> mystics and so-called mystics of the time. Some were his followers, companions, his disciples. Most of the letters were written in response to different questions different inquiries, different observations, different objections. <coughs> Imam Rabani's 
50 percent letters are less than 20 lines, but some letters are more than 20 pages. These letters may be regarded as a source of inspiration, source of knowledge, source of understanding. Sayyid Abdul Hakim, a great religious scholar and saint, he says, if a Muslim wants to get close, get close attachment with Almighty Allah, mm -hmm. after Quran and Sunnah, the pistols of Imam Rabbani are very, very useful and helpful. Subhanallah. More than one dozen scholars have got their degrees of doctorate after making research over these letters. You can imagine how much great, grand, comprehensive and full of knowledge and recognition of all these letters. Some of them have made research about the effects and influences of these letters on Tafasir al-Qur'an, on Ahadith, on Fiqh, judicial system of Islam. Anyhow, his letters need to be studied minutely and with great passion under the guidance of some teacher. Now please come to the last point. The issues of the chronic issues of current era. How we can settle our contemporary problems in the light of Imam Rabbani's teachings. First is terrorism. Terrorism is a word no single compromised definition can be acceptable for all the nations, for all the communities and all the people. It is a controversial word. Every nation Every group of people, every scholar has its own definition. But this is an issue. This is an issue, it is very chronic issue and it has devoured so many people and it has become a very devastating giant gem of the time. Terrorism this is common opinion about terrorism, that terrorism is massacre of people, murdering of people. Terrorism is name of instability of a state. Mm. Terrorism is so dangerous that it is name of unequal <coughs> distribution of Wealth, terrorism is lack of tolerance for religions. Terrorism is name of clash of civilizations. Terrorism is a root for social, economic, judicial and political instability. This word has so many aspects and facets. Anyhow, this word has become so common. I will not need to, to go into further details. It is the issue of the time. It is acknowledged by every sensible person. How Imam Rabbani faced because terrorism was also present at that time. And it was at its peak, at its top, climax and summit. How Imam Rabbani tackled with this issue? Whether Imam Rabbani made a group and he also started massacre and killing up people and plundering, 
on making agitations and coming out raising slogans against government, against Hindus, Kafir Kafir, Hindu Kafir, Kafir Kafir, Shia Kafir, Kafir Kafir, Tirani Kafir, Kafir Kafir. So, and that one Kafir? No. Imam Rabani's strategy was strategy of just like Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. He told that the king is just like the heart in the body. If heart is accurate and correct, the whole body will work accurately in a very suitable manner, in a balanced way. If heart is out of order, if there is any heart attack on the parts of the body will fail to work. They will be collapsed. There is a need to maintain the real life of heart, it should be corrected. It should be mended and repaired if there is anything wrong. So King, the leader of the country, the ruler is just like the heart. Al-Aman, Al-Aman, public is like a cattle. In spite of wasting all of the energies and forces, On mending the ways of the people, we cannot achieve our target. First of all, we should focus at the correction, at the formation, at the purification of mind and heart and character of the king of the time. If it is not corrected, if it is not criticized, as Holy Prophet says, the great crusade, the great jihad is to say the faithful statement at the face of the king of the time. Gardan na juti jiski jaha meer ke aage, jiske nafa se garam se hai garmi ya bala. Wo hind mein saramaya millar ka nigehbaan, Allah ne barbukt kiya jisko kabarbaan. So Imam al-Rabani he addressed to the king, O oh people, O oh person, you are at the wrong way. You have been misguided. You are going to the wrong direction. You are destroying the whole nation. You are patronizing the Hindus. And you are abolishing Islam and Islamic values. There is need to correct your mind. Mend your ways. Mend your policies. Mend your strategies. What are you doing? All of your advisors, your ministers, they are also at the wrong way. Not to capture his kingdom, not to confiscate him from his kingship. Imam Yadabani, like a real, faithful and sincere guide. As a result, Imam Yadabani was in prison. He was sent to jail. But even then he did not start any agitation. Naray Takbir, Allah Akbar, Naray Risalah, Ya Rasul. His property was confiscated. His library was burned to fire. His sons were threatened. And he was sent behind the bars. And that was the most notorious prison of that time, Gawadiyah where all, all the anti-government leaders and very dangerous criminals were sent, were imprisoned. Mame Rabbani, he did not start any agitation. The commandments and will of Almighty Allah. If Allah wanted, I would never be sent to prison. It was the will of Almighty Allah. That's why I said I would be preservant. I would be tolerant. I would perform like a patient. And I, I accept this challenge of my patience. 
It is a toil of my torment, toil of my real faith on Almighty Allah. He did not stop to preach Islam. He continued his mission even in the jail. He performed all the duties of Islam. He told that Hazrat Yusuf was sent to jail for more than 12 years. Holy Prophet had to lead a life of a prison for three years. If Shah Ahmed has been sent to prison, it is no new matter. It is the Sunnah, it is the lifestyle of all the prophets. He was very contented, he was very patient, he was very tolerant. He continued his preachings more firmly, more carefully and seriously. As a result, all the dangerous criminals, they embraced Islam. All the anti-government accused and criminals, they were purified. Their minds and hearts were refined and purged by the teachings and by the practical way of life of Imam al-Rabbani Majid Jahangir, he came to know from different sources that Imam al-Rabbani is a great wise man. He is a real friend and sincere follower of Almighty Allah and Muhammad peace be upon He has, he has no scheme to snatch the government of the Jahangir. He had no program, no plan to rule over the country. He is very sincere and he only wanted to re-establish Islam with its real glory, dignity and sublime status. So he was repentant, he apologized, he came to prison of Kualiya and he begged for pardon and he was remorseful and he requested Imam Rabbani to forgive him. Imam Rabbani was released after two years. For two solid years he stayed in the prison of Kualiya. Imam Rabbani presented him some recommendations. There some are told as 17 recommendations. First, <coughs> first point was undo all the policies and laws of Dini Akbari. Second was reconstruct all the mosques and tombs which were demolished at the demand and request of the Hindus. Kick out all the Hindus from the daily posts. Reinforce the system of zakat for the Muslims and jazia for the non-Muslims. Allow all the Muslims for the slaughter of cow. It is a great value and symbol of Allah's commandments. And he also made a statement and a recommendation that ensure, ensure to reinforce all the teachings of Quran and Sunnah. He accepted, he acknowledged them, and Imam al-Rabani was asked, you are free whether to go to Sahan or to stay in the army or in the royal court. Imam al-Rabani, he decided to stay with the king, to stay with the nobles of the royal court and in the army. And he stayed there for three years. This was the time for real reformation of Islam. Imam al-Rabani guided Jahangir at every point, at every issue. And reinforcement of Islam was ensured during these three years. The court of Jahangir was totally purged, was purified from all anti and non-Islamic elements. <coughs> the family members of Jahangir, 
they also became very true and sincere Muslims. His son Shah Jahan, and after that, son of Shah, Shah Jahan, Aurangzeb Balangi. These are the fruits and the results of Imam Rabbani's movement. Further, more Imam Rabbani first targeted was the king of the time, ruler of the time. If it is purified, whole nation is purified. Similarly, Imam Rabbani told that there are three main pillars in every state. If those pillars are expurgated, those pillars are mended and repaired and directed to the right path of Islam, all the public will follow them. People are always at the way of their kings and rulers. So he told that these pillars, one is the ministers, the nobles of the royal court, the aristocrats of the time. Second are the religious scholars, and third are the mystics and saints and seers of the time. That's why Muhammad Rabbani put all of his energies and all of his struggles for the reformation and for the refinement of these three main pillars of the state. And you see that all the great ministers of the time became the friends of Imam Rabbani, mm. followers of Imam Rabbani, Shaykh Farid Bukhari, Muhammad Khan, Khaliz Khan, Khanani Khan, Sadr Jahan, and a lot of big group of the ministers was the followers of Imam Rabbani in his mission for popularism, to popularize and to re-establish the values and teachings of Islam. And he also prepared a group of sincere religious scholars. There were at least 10,000 of his authorized Rafa. There were more than 10 lakh of his real disciples and followers and Muridi. With the help of his followers and his Khulafa, he spread the teachings of Islam all over India, even in Iran, in Turkey, in Egypt, in Syria, in Hejaz, in Iran, <coughs> all over the world. Imam Rabbani, he knew that without purification of mind and heart of the religious scholars, he cannot achieve his target. These were the source to guide the people, to guide the common heart. Again, the mystics, because they were misguiding the people, they had also forgot the real path of Allah, the real path of the <coughs> saints, spiritual guides of their previous times, of old ages. Imam Rabbani, he guided them properly. He told them, Please get prepared for the hereafter. Do not get ordinary materialistic gains. Do not run after temporary lusts, temporary commercialized gains. He guided them and as a result he was also the spiritual guide of the king of the time. He was also spiritual guide of so many ministers, so the Maruti and they also mended their ways. They corrected their styles. They changed their strategies and they became the real servants of Islam. So Imam Rabbani, his strategy to purify society from all anti-Islamic values, to purify society from all forces of evil and sins, his strategy was not to waste his energies in superfluous fightings. Well, for the sake of well, art for art's sake, war for war's sake, criticism for criticism's sake, no. 
He made criticism for the purpose of reformation. He fought in the way of Allah. He started a war to popularize the teachings of Quran and Sunnah. Then Imam al Rabbani, he told that there is only one way to salvation, that is complete submission and obedience of Muhammad peace be upon And he told to the kings of the time that the ideal system of government is only with the four wise caliphs of Islam, Sadiq Yaqbar, Farooq Yazam, Usman Ghani and Mawla Ali. They should get guidance from their system, social justice, judicial justice, economic justice, political justice, justice of every type, and all the fundamental rights of the people, and all the amenities of life for the people and public, it is the responsibility and obligatory duty of the government to provide all the fundamental needs at the doorstep of the citizens. And for this purpose, they must follow the glaring and complete example of wise and wise caliphs of Islam, Quran and Rashidi. In the end, Imam Rabbani, his strategy was submission to all the companions of Muhammad and his family members, Sahaba Ikram and Ahli Latrit Hal. He showed his 100% loyalty and submission to these true and sincere friends of Muhammad and real and true servants of Allah and real and true followers of Quran and Sunnah. So today, if we want to play our role and to bring some healthy and revolutionary changes and positive changes in our home, in our society, in our company, so this is the way. Please come to the Holy Quran, come to the Sunnah of the Holy Prophet, come to the way of the friends of Allah. This is the only